This is not one of those clickbait titles where I drag it out to try to make you wonder what I'm actually talking about. But I did want to show these two clips right here as a point of reference. I just dropped one piece of wood because I didn't have a good grip on it, but if you watch when I get up here to the end, you'll see what the point of this was. Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and this is not the video I came out here to record. Basically, in this video, I'm just going to be eating crow because I've been talking about a plan that isn't going to work. And that plan has been that this winter and this fall, I'm going to process a lot more firewood than I normally do, and that part of it is still going to happen. As a matter of fact, I've got a new piece of equipment that's supposed to be here tomorrow that's going to make our firewood process more efficient. The part of the plan that's not going to work is setting everything up right here. So what I came out here to do was sort all this firewood into different types. I've got giant like 36 inch diameter material that I can't put on a splitter and then I've got smaller logs that are long and need bucked into 16 inches. And I want to sort it into different piles so I can work through it. I started off, I had the grapple on the tractor and I grabbed some rounds here and I drove over there. And as I'm driving over, I was a little bit uneasy about the amount of slope on this hill and thinking, do I want to drive on this slope every time I move firewood around? The answer is no, I don't. I underestimated the slope. I don't feel it as much in the skid loader, but I'm not only going to be using the skid loader. I'll have the tractor over here quite a bit. And it just doesn't make sense to set this up on a hillside like that. I don't know why. I have no idea why that didn't occur to me earlier. I think it's because I just go so fast and sometimes I don't do enough planning. And it was funny because I drive one load over there and I'm thinking about it. This feels a little steep. Come back and get the second load. One wheel falls in a little bit of a hole where this mulch is uneven. And I thought, ah, I don't, you know, I don't like this. But I still hadn't made up my mind. I get over there to that pile right in between me and the Quonset hut and I drop the logs and these are like 16, 18 inch rounds. I set them down and one of them fell onto its side and started rolling down the hill and rolled all the way down here past this tree. Said, oh yeah, that's a great plan. I'll just chase firewood down the hill all winter. So it's not gonna work. And that's, it's normally, if I didn't make videos, it's no big deal, but I feel kind of stupid because I, I've been talking about how I was gonna do this for a while, but you know, worse things have happened. So that leaves me with two choices. I can either grade this hill out so that it's relatively level, peel material off over here, move it down here like we did with the Quonset hut. That would be a ton of work. You know, I don't have the exact right equipment for that. I could, I could do it, but you guys have seen the rocks we have down here are massive. So it'd be, it'd be quite an undertaking. And if I did that, it would still, at the end of where I raised this, it would still have a big drop off. It's not worth it. So I think I need to relocate this firewood yard. And I think what I'm going to do is I had already planned on taking this cluster of trees right here out. So I'm gonna drop those trees and I'm gonna put the wood yard right there. 
So I don't love the fact that I've put a bunch of work into this and it's, it's not a good spot for it. But it's better to just admit it now, change plans, relocate, than it is to work on this hillside all fall and all winter. So this may not have been the most interesting video, but basically I share what's going on every day and what's, this is what's going on. So I appreciate you taking time to watch. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.